Hello, I'm Harrison Engstrom, and I built a PC somehow. Um, but obviously, you've seen what it looks like on the outside. But let's actually check what's inside. Is this a good PC? I think that that is obviously a very subjective opinion. And I know that I don't have thousands of dollars to spend on making this an overclocked, amazing sort of gaming PC. But let's see what I actually got with all this. What has all of this timing and planning and effort and hours of putting it all together actually sort of come to? Um, so let's check out the specs for my new gaming PC. One of my favorite things to do, obviously, is to browse stuff online. And sometimes I have a whole bunch of videos that I want to watch. And obviously Chrome is the only way that I can do that if I'm wanting to watch them online. One thing I absolutely love about having this new PC is that basically I can have so many Chrome tabs opening without it like slowing down or having to worry about it just dropping the frame rate for a video or having it sort of sound clunky and stuff like that. As you can see here, this is actually uh, just one window that I have open with a whole bunch of videos all running at once, all totally fine actually. Um, also, the fact that I could actually run this with my Premiere Pro, with Steam, with Audacity, and with the uh, video uh, sort of capturing software that I use, which is open, open broadcast, is quite amazing. I can't do anything like this on like the other two laptops that I have, mainly because obviously they're laptops and they're not as fast as sec or secure. But it's it's great. It's a really really great feeling. I can actually play video games while I'm exporting footage um, through Premiere, which is amazing. If I'm running Premiere on uh, my Mac and I have to export a full video, it stops everything. I can't do anything else. Usually when that happens, I usually try to watch something on Netflix or I try to game on one of my consoles. With that, I don't have to worry about it with this PC at all. Now let's check out some quick benchmarking that I tried to do in the meantime. Initially I tried to look at a few benchmarking programs to see what we could look at here and you know uh, some of them are great like Cinebench it's kind of good but it kind of looks like you it looks like something you would see if you dropped acid and then tried to decorate a Christmas tree for a goth. I mean it's great and apparently it's I have a really good CPU and, and processor and stuff, but it didn't really mean that much to me. So, you know what? Let's just actually just check out some games that we can run. Um, some that are from last year, some of them from a few years ago, and some of them, which is even more exciting, from this year. Obviously, the uh, previously seen and previously mentioned Just Cause 3 runs absolutely fine on this PC. How I sort of initially uh, checked... Uh, if I could actually run this, I use a wonderful website called CanYouRunIt.com that looks like this. Basically, you download a small program from them, they check all of your specs, and then you can see if you can run it or not. I, I really wanted to put this first up, because basically it is literally the newest game that I own, and it is the game I've wanted to play for so, so very long, and it's, ah, oh, you can just, ah, oh, I'm so glad we cut back to footage of this rather than looking at that dull website. Look at all of this. Look at all the things I can do, because I'm insane and it is fun. Next up is Crisis 2, a game that is renowned for its graphical capabilities. Sadly, I don't have uh, Crisis 3, which is a little bit better, obviously, than the first two Crisis games. Um, Crisis 2 runs amazingly. This is all in 60 frames per second. I know it's had to be sort of chopped and cut a little bit down, so it does look a little bit different in terms of the frame rate at 30 frames per second, but I assure you, it looks absolutely incredible on this PC. I absolutely love it. I, I think Crisis 2 is a very interesting game. I haven't played much of it so far, but from how it looks and how it plays, it's kind of fun. It's a little bit like uh, Prototype 2 or the uh, infamous game when that came out. You kind of have like these excessive superhuman abilities, but who knows? Maybe I'll play a little bit more of that down the track. This is Bioshock Infinite, a game that came out two years ago and still looks absolutely spectacular. Uh, fantastic game in terms of storyline, characters, music, everything about it is absolutely amazing. And now we get to experience it in full 1080p. No, I, none of these games are running at 4K just because I don't have a 4K monitor and therefore it is absolutely useless. What I'm actually running this on is an old 42-inch TV that uh, I used to own. And uh, I mean, it looks great. Uh, this is a uh, 1920 by 1080 and it looks really, really good. But overall, it's, uh, it did not, uh, it, it does so much well and it does not have to be Oh, man. Just, just so much excitement in this game. 
And here is Rocket League, an absolutely incredible game I've been hearing all year about, and I finally downloaded it and got to play it this morning. Holy crap, what an incredible experience. Uh, and I, I love it to bits already. It is so much fun, it is so fast-paced, and it looks absolutely incredible. Uh, just the, the, the lights and, and the way that everybody reacts so quickly is absolutely incredible to, to see a game that is not only an original and ridiculous concept, but also just looks so fucking good, man. Like, I also uh, downloaded the Back to the Future DLC, so uh, I'm going to be uh, playing that a little bit into the future as well. And finally, here is Sleeping Dogs. A little known game, bit of a sleeper hit from a year or two ago. It's a lot of fun. It's a really, really great uh, sandbox open world game. Uh, and it runs uh, runs so smoothly. I even downloaded the high quality texture pack just to test all of this out. Runs at a very comfy 60 frames per second here. Again, at the same quality of uh, resolution as before. And it is a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun to play this game. A lot of, as you can see here, having a lot of fun just driving around Hong Kong. Just enjoying myself, talking to characters voiced by Emma Stone and uh, a few other very, very great actors uh, lending their voices here. Um, but yeah, these are some absolutely fantastic games that I can play, and I'm so happy I can play them at such a high resolution, such a high quality. Ah, oh, it's so good. Oh man, I'm just gonna, just gonna enjoy the shit out of this. So there you have it! That's what it looks like. That's what it can run. Um, it's kind of interesting having a PC that plays games from that year. I know the year has ended. 2015 is now over. But it's exciting. The fact that I can play Just Cause 3 on recommended settings is amazing. And obviously, this is where essentially I announce, hey, if you want to see me gaming, do like the Totes video page. Right now, we have a giveaway for Payday 2. All you have to do is basically say, if you were to rob a bank, how would you do it? And we will give you a we'll give you a copy of Payday 2. It's it's incredible. In fact, I can even show you the card ah, right here. This is what it looks like. This is what we're going to give you. This we're going to give you the code that's on this, so you can play it on Steam. And uh, it's actually a pretty good uh, game. And basically, the PC requirements is Windows XP. So, um, uh, <laughs> you can play it on Windows XP with a two gigahertz Intel dual core, dual core two gig memory, and NVIDIA GeForce 8800 and Radeon HD. 2600. Um, basically, uh, also as I mentioned in the video, uh, I did a lot of sort of checking and stuff like that for what games I can play, what games I can't play. Uh, I put the link in the description for Can You Run It, which is the amazing website I used to check if I could run Just Cause 3. Um, so yeah, so thank you so much. Do watch me on Toad's video. Toad's video is amazing. We'll be doing a Twitch stream. We'll be on YouTube uh, showing clips uh, sort of once a week, new videos and stuff like that. And uh, thank you so much for watching. I'm Harrison Engstrom, and welcome to Toad's video.